This is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. ANC party boss Musali Mudavadi has triggered major political realignments in Kenya after a surprise political deal with Deputy President William Ruto that caught his Oka core principles flat-footed. Wiper leader Kalonzo Musyoka and his Kanu counterpart Gideon Moy dramatically stormed out of the ANC National Delegates Conference at Bomas of Kenya after a last-minute intelligence that Ruto, their number one political adversary, would be a key guest at the event. It has now emerged that Musalia, Ruto and with Tangula had for weeks been quietly planning the union that is likely to set the stage for a two-horse race between the DP and ODM leader Raila Odinga. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. Deputy President William Ruto and his allies on Sunday gave Musalia Mudavadi a standing ovation as the ANC leader launched a blistering attack on President Uhuru Kenyatta's government. Mudavadi pointed out the ballooning public debt, theft of public resources, excessive taxation and wastage in government. Ironically, Ruto, who attended ANC's National Delegates Conference, is part of the Jubilee administration. Mudavadi, in a meeting in which many UDA members were also part, discredited President Kenyatta's debt management strategy and public-private partnership projects anchoring Jubilee's legacy. Oka bosses Kalonzo Musyoka and Gideon Moy on Sunday announced they were severing links with their colleague Musalia Mudavadi after he teamed up with Deputy President William Ruto. The One Kenya Alliance was dead before it was even formally registered as an alliance. It was supposed to be an alternative, a third force in the State House race, but the principals could not agree on who should fly the flag. The Wiper and Kanu leaders made the announcement moments after they stormed out of Musalia's ANC National Delegates Conference at the Bomber of Kenya. Mudavadi was installed as the party's presidential flag bearer. Details of those killed and their bodies dumped in Rivayala continue to emerge as families identify their relatives who have been missing. Three of the 19 bodies retrieved from the river have so far been identified, with authorities saying two of them were criminals with a case pending in court. Former police officer Peter Keo Mutuku and his friend Philemon Chepkoni are among those whose bodies have been identified at the Yala Sub-County Hospital Mortuary. The third is that of Erastas Nirango, a 45-year-old businessman who went missing in November last year while on his way to Nakuru from Nairobi. Floods have killed more than 500 goats and sheep in Turkana South this week. Sylvester Akolong, assistant area chief of Nakalei Kapata Ward in Turkana South, said more than 400 families have been affected by the floods caused by heavy rains. The drought had dried up most water pans, boreholes and other water sources that pastoralists and livestock rely on for survival. Akolong said over 500 goats and sheep belonging to more than 400 families have been killed by the raging waters. He urged the government and human humanitarian agencies to provide the necessary support to the affected families. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.